So welcome back to another episode of FIFA History. Today we are playing FIFA 06. Now FIFA 06, I'm not expecting too much from this because we're dealing with a game made probably, what, in 2005 now? But at the time, it did get good reviews. 9 out of 10 from GameSpot, 78% from Metacritic, IGN 8.7 out of 10. And as each week passes, you'll notice that we're getting into the older games territory now. And we've still got plenty of other older FIFA games to come still. So hopefully you are enjoying the series. If you do enjoy today's video, please leave a like. And make sure you subscribe to the channel for more FIFA 21 content. The last time I checked, subscribing is free. So please do so and help the channel out. Today's video is sponsored by Mule Factory. If you want to get some FIFA coins and you understand all the risks surrounding it, check out Mule Factory and use my code VAPEXFOOT for a 5% discount. So FIFA 06 was a game that I initially had on the PSP, the PlayStation Portable. That was where I actually played the game when it first came out. But over the years I acquired a PS2 copy, so that's what we're going to be playing today. So it's pretty funny that when you load up FIFA 06 you actually get like an urgent memo thing. And the Classic 11 team actually gives you a challenge. So last night a press conference in Soho Square caused a collective gasp in the football world. Journalists scrambled for chairs as news that the legends of yesteryear are back and have formed a new super team. So it looks like Classic 11 must have been a new feature at the time. The Classic 11 team challenges you to this match. Do you accept their challenge? Now, because we're doing a video about it, probably not at this time. But I'll take a look at their team, see what icons they had at the time. Alright, so this is pretty much your FIFA 06 menu. You've got kickoff, game modes, team management, EA Sports Retro, EA Sports Extras, My FIFA 06, and the load thing. Alright, so team management is pretty much your creation center. You can edit kit numbers, players, squads, all that kind of stuff, transfers. So we've pretty much got that feature still in the game. EA Sports Retro, what does this mean? You can actually play FIFA 94 within uh, FIFA. 06. Look at that. FIFA 94 Retro. I think I'm going to do my own video on this. I don't want to spoil it here, but you can play FIFA 94 the exact way I think it was when it first came out. Memorable Moments, FIFA Games Retrospective, Classic Player Bios. Memorable Moments is something I can't show here because it plays like actual football clips and stuff. But let's see what the FIFA Games Retrospective is all about. Okay, so it might, might go through all the years of uh, games. Look at that. 94. All the way up to 2006. I mean, if they brought this back today, we'd have another 15 years of games in this footage here. It's really not that impressive when you look at it in 2021. I'm sure at the time, the graphics must have felt like the best thing in the world. But <laughs> looking back at it now, there's nothing really exciting. Obviously, it's a big improvement from 94 to 2006. Look at that. That's 94 right there. But then if you go from 06 to 2021, it's like double... The graphical improvement and stuff. Probably even more than double. Who knows? Looks pretty good. FIFA 96 and stuff. Control the superstars from authentic squads. 97. My first FIFA game was uh, FIFA 99. There's the World Cup one. FIFA 98. Take the road to the World Cup. They had all the licenses back then as well. There we go. FIFA 99. Be a part of all of the leagues and competitions. I remember you could absolutely tackle the goalkeeper and stuff in FIFA 99. Undertake a full league season in FIFA 2000. FIFA 2001, experience life on the pitch. Okay, pretty good. Graphics were starting to get a little bit better. Prepare the national team for the FIFA World Cup 2002. 2003, I had that game as well, FIFA 03. Be the 12th man for your club and win the championship. Look at that, nice. Van Nistelrooy, I remember Van Nistelrooy. FIFA 2004, I don't think I ever had at the time. And uh, the graphics, obviously, you can see the big improvement in graphics from 94 to FIFA 04 and stuff. They should bring this back and do from 2006 all the way up, like just add to this compilation. FIFA 2005. Man, where, where's the time gone really though? Where has the time gone? That's FIFA 06 there. Where has the time gone, man? It's incredible. Alright, let's see what Classic Player Bios does. Okay, so you can look at... Okay, these must be the Classic guys they, that are part of the Classic 11. So, Fiketti, Haji, Hugo Sanchez, Ronald Koeman as well. There he is. Ronald Koeman, Beckenbauer, Conti, Cantona. So, a lot of guys here. Gianni Rivera, Franco Berezi, Zico. So that's probably the classic 11 that's in the game at the moment. Let's go down to EA Sports Extras, see if there was anything interesting. So we've got an interview with Eto, tutorial, season preview, season highlights. I can't really show any of that because it's probably real life footage that could get copyrighted. My FIFA 06. 
You had your game settings, FIFA 6 challenges, fan shop. Is there anything that we can unlock here? So classic player bios, extras. Okay, so the classic 11 team is 2,000 points. Overhead camera, career teams as well. What was that? Career teams. Third kits. So it's like the catalog, celebrations pack, stadium pack, season highlights, all that kind of stuff. We have FIFA 6 challenges. Let's see what's there. Zone 1. I think there's certain things. So League Cup. So if you got bored of playing crew mode and stuff, you could do these challenges, which gives you a different way to play. So there's certain things you can do, like win the FA Premier League. I think you unlock these as you play, to be honest. There's different regions as well, but you get the point of this. Let's go to game modes. We've got manager mode, FIFA 06 lounge, tournament mode, create tournament, practice mode, and play online. Let's try out the practice mode, see if it's any good. All right, so the practice arena looks pretty good. I mean, the graphics aren't the best, but if it's anything like FIFA 07s, it might be pretty good. So we've got practice type. Let's see what we can practice. You can do free kicks, corners, direct free kicks, indirect free kicks. This is really nice. Oh, I don't know why FIFA 21 doesn't have this. Like, the practice arenas have a, have a purpose, you know? All right, let's try and uh, take a practice. All right, so look at the graphics. Fantastic graphics. Giggs is going to hit one, and uh, I don't know why we're all the way out, but I really don't know how this works. Giggs, oh, not bad. It wasn't a bad strike, actually. Okay, so let's see how we score here. I've got a dodgy analog stick, which is not going to help me today. It's not bad. Obviously, the graphics are very, very blurry. It doesn't really render well. Uh, a lot of uh, bad things that could make you sick if you look at it for too long. Free kicks aren't bad. Let's move on. All right, so there was no manager customization back then. You could only pick from these guys, which are pretty much preset guys, and you probably don't even see them in the game and stuff. It's just there for display. Now, when you go to select your teams, you have to pick a region first. I don't know if we can actually pick the club we want or they're going to give us a club, so we'll have to see. We'll go to number one because that covers England. All right, so it does come up with a couple teams you can pick from. Can we be Man United? No, we can't. So I think you can't be any five-star teams here, so... Chelsea, I don't think are there as well. Chelsea, no, they're not there. So you can't pick from any five-star clubs. All right, so we're going to pick a four-star team. It's the closest thing to Man United. We're going to be picking Man City today. So we're going to sign with them. The board expects a top three finish. No worries. There are eight selectable staff positions that you can decide to upgrade. So it does have staff upgrades here. And there we've got the staff upgrades. So we've got striker, coach, midfielder, defense, goalkeeper, all that kind of stuff that you see in other FIFA games as well. And uh, basically, you can work to upgrade these guys when you have the money. Now, we have to deal with the sponsors. Companies want to sponsor our club. So there's a wide range of sponsors here. I don't know if any of these are fake, but it's pretty nice to see real ones. We'll do Team Mobile. Surely, they've got to have a bit of a budget. So we'll do Team Mobile. So they want the championship, win the cups, all that kind of stuff. Here is the crew mode menu for FIFA 06. At the bottom, you have the ticker that I can barely read because it's so blurry. It hurts your eyes these days. You don't want to look at this these days. We've got next match, office, team management, statistics, transfer, central, and save career. So let's see the office. We've got calendar, scouting, staff upgrade, sponsor details, manager history. And also on the bottom left, you'll notice that we've got team chemistry at 39, job security at 50, and fan support at 50. Those are the fundamentals of crew mode back then. You have to get those numbers as high as you can. Team management, let's see what's there. You can um, do kit numbers, contracts, export your team as well. And that's pretty straightforward. So we're going to be checking the best players in crew mode back then. Czech leading the way, 94 overall with a 23 years of age. Casillas as well, 94, Buffon 94. So the goalkeepers were rated the highest. Or is it based on positioning? I don't know. I think the goalkeepers, EA must have loved goalkeepers back then. Ronaldinho, 93. He was playing at Barcelona. Adriano Inter. Ronaldo, Brazilian Ronaldo at Real Madrid. He must have been a gun man back then. Rooney, Mackay, Shevchenko, Henri. Some of these guys, man. Eto, Morientes, Cisse, Cassano, Van Nistelrooy, Inzaghi, Gerard, Ronaldo, 91 at 20 years old. Unbelievable. A couple of these guys have moved on like Del Piero, Maldini and all that kind of stuff. But in FIFA 06, they were absolutely killing it. Maldini was 37 at the time, so he was pretty old. Anyway, there you go. Some old school names there. Let's uh, move on. Now, in terms of uh, playing the games, you could do the visual sim, quick sim, or manage your team. So we'll start with the visual sim, and then we'll jump into the game. So as you can see, you can slow it down, fast forward, intervene as well. So you can even fast forward this. In FIFA 21, you can't. And uh, let's intervene here. Let's finish this game off, see what the gameplay is like. All right, so here we go. A bit of FIFA 06 today, and it looks like we're about to get there. I mean, this Man City team is not what it is now. I mean, the controls... Oh, man, the game speed is very quick compared to... FIFA 21, that was a big shot, the keeper went flying there. 
game speed is incredible. It's so fast. And the graphics obviously don't look the best. Player faces and stuff. The jerseys. Stadium. Very, very blurry. But what am I expecting, man? This game was built in 2005 for a PS2. Here's Cole. Going to play a fruit. No, they block it. The AI already a bit smarter than FIFA 21 on semi-pro difficulty. It's got to be careful. You got Once you get used to the speed, it's a bit easier. I think this game is a rainy game. You can barely tell, except for the puddles on the floor. You can't even see the rain droplets. Once you get used to the gameplay, you enjoy it a bit more. It's very fast-paced. And here's Musampa. Good position here. Look at that. Look how fast he is. Like... <laughs> You don't even know if people have 90 pace. Oh, I just went behind everyone. You don't know if they have 90 pace or not, but everyone runs nearly at the same speed. Here's Joey Barden. I don't remember him being that quick. Here's Robbie Fowler. Oh, what a save by the keeper. Oh, right, they gave a straight back to me. I got the dodgy analog stick and the player just runs out. The stick drift is incredible with the dodgy analog stick, but somehow we're making it work. Beautiful pass. Look how quick that ball was. The speed of this game is incredible. Fowler on the right. Oh, what a goal. Big finish there by Robbie Fowler. On the right foot as well. At least he's got a real face, I believe. Can't believe he scored that. That was crazy. Big shot off the post. Nice ball over the top. No one's marking him. Where's my defense? Keeper comes out, and they score anyway, and uh, they're back in this game. Bad defending. And Gray scores on the cusp of halftime, of course. The 45th minute scripting always got to kick in. Here we go. Arca bringing it forward. And the dodgy analog stick. What's it doing? There we go. Sunderland score again. I mean, questions of offside there, but he gets away with it. And our keeper can't save anything. So it turns out you can dribble a little bit by holding R2. And he does like a little bit of a, what do they call it? Strafe dribble or something. But anyway, we lost our game against Sunderland 2-1. Week 1 of the Premier League. Fantastic result. But ultimately, this was about how FIFA 06 works in 2021. And overall, it's nice to go back and see what it had the features and all that, but in terms of the graphics, it doesn't hold up to this day, of course, which could turn a lot of people off from playing this game ever again, but it wasn't a bad crew mode experience at all, like it's got the features that the old school ones had, so no complaints there, it's just nice to play if you want to go back and take a look at those old FIFA games. So I think that's all for this week's episode of FIFA History, if you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like, make sure you subscribe as well for more episodes in the series, and if you need something else to watch, please make sure you check out this FIFA video, hit the card in the middle, it'll take you straight there, I'll see you next time.